First this evening, Lynn Nelson. You'll see this warning sign here at the uh, Stater Brothers Shopping Center, and I don't think it has affected their business that much. It's warning people, the public, that if they walk into that store, they could possibly purchase something or get cancer, a product or, a, uh, or cause their uh, cancer or birth defects. Uh, this is in all the grocery stores. I think we've seen it many, many times, and we just totally ignore it. If every merchant there in that shopping center of uh, the village at Eagle Glen had it on their warning sign in their windows, it wouldn't affect their business as much either, I don't think. People would just pretty much ignore it. But the whole point of this thing is to have informed consent. You're letting the public know that there is a danger here, and that's part of our responsibility as a society to let people know that there's a danger. What we're asking for is a sign like this, a little larger, so people can see it when you walk, when you drive into the shopping center, there's three entrances. And that's just gonna warn the public that they're gonna be radiated when they go into that shopping center because there is a hidden cell tower that puts out radiation. Our people got sick right away. As I was here last time with my little bird and the coal mine story that they fell off, we are the guinea pigs. So that's what we're looking for is a sign like this to inform the public that if they come into this shopping center, they're going to be radiated, which is their choice, but also informs the tenants, which don't, many of them did not know that there was a radiation emitter there, and their employees who are going to be submitted to this radiation 40 hours a week, maybe additional hours, day in and day out, and it's a cumulative effect, may give them cancer or birth defect. So what we're asking you to do is help us do our petition. You can go to change.org and sign up. You can follow us along with uh, Twitter and with uh, Facebook, uh, and you type in shop here, get sick, and it's now a registered service mark. So it has uh, moved forward in this movement to be uh, much more greater than us. And so I encourage anyone to come out to our shopping center, join us on Saturday. We're there every Saturday from 10 until 12. We've come by more days than that, and we're gonna be looking at expanding more time and more days and more centers. Thank you. For those of you who don't know who we are yet, and um, most of you do already, uh, we're Shop Here, Get Sick. It's a movement that I started uh, because I was horrified when we were tenants at the, at the shopping center finding out from the construction workers that they were installing a cell phone tower right above our heads. And we're like, oh my God, energy pollution. We knew what that was because we, we deal with energy in the holistic business that I was in. And uh, so we knew that the interference was going to cause problems with healing with people and ourselves. So when we started really getting um, lots of side effects and stuff, we'd said, okay, let's pack it up. But then we realized how angry we were that they never told us and that the people who were still coming there, especially the pediatrics place, which is less than 40 feet away from this thing with vulnerable children, are still getting irradiated. So what is it that we're going to do? We researched different things. We, we just got our information together, and researched and researched, and realized there were a lot more problems people were having than we knew with this, and that these were infiltrating communities all over the world. And there were steps being taken by different countries and different states. <clears throat> and then realizing that the people didn't have enough information when some very bad laws were made. And in 1996, the uh, Regulatory Act uh, um, in 1996, uh, the FCC, um, was basically giving carte blanche to put them anywhere, barring local ordinances. It doesn't mean that local ordinances could keep the cell phone towers out, but they had some degree of latitude as to where they would be placed. And we are of the opinion that we will not chase business away by having them put along freeways and railroads and other places where there's fields, and the topography of Corona is perfect to have them all over the place. They can have tons more put in without having them right on top of people. The literature suggests the farther away they are from where people congregate, the less chance of the accumulative effect, it less, and, and the more chance that people are able to handle whatever electrical and uh, um, uh, microwave radiation interference that they're going to deal with. It's not going to be so intensely um, amplified. Just like you wouldn't want those high tension wires that carry all the big electrical lines right on top of you. That doesn't mean you couldn't handle it, but with all the other stresses on our body, 
it's probably not a good idea, even if we don't have all the information in, and the information, the research is not all there. So we do will not want to wait 20 years and have this turn into like an asbestos situation where the city is going to be held uh, accountable for all, all these people getting ill when they find out that people are, are truly suffering from this and they find out that um, um, that uh, they might have to pull these things out. And you know these companies will be wherever they're going to be. And we don't want the city holding the bag and we don't want our health holding the bag. So we're looking in the future to deal with the ordinances of the city. Thank you.